All right, so we have bench power supply here, and I'm going to show you how to charge lithium batteries. So we have the voltmeter hooked up. 6.54, 6.54. Now, if you turn the current all the way down, it'll end up dropping here. Oh, that's fine. We'll do the course. See, it drops. So that means that it's going to put that no voltage in. So turn it back up to where we got enough current to put the voltage that we need. Now, let's say, okay, your alternator charges at what, 14.8? Yeah, 14.8, 14.6. Say we want to charge like this battery to go to 14.6. We'll set this. to 14.6 okay uh, well hold this for a second I'll take this off here Grab this battery so we have negative and positive here and take Negative, hook it up. Positive, hook it up. Now you see the voltage drop down, drop down to 14, and here's our current. So you have two amps of current. You can either set it down and slow charge, or you can turn it up and charge faster. So you leave it at 3 amps, like that. What will happen is the current will count down and the voltage will count up until it hits 14.6. And then once it's charged, the current will drop down to, it'll say zero. So, typically I like to charge it like 2 amps, because it's a nice slow charge. But it depends on your battery too. Like Yinlongs, they'll take 400 amps of current for a 40 amp hour bank. So you could throw that much in, but it's you know nicer to charge slow and just wait for this voltage to count up. So that's how charging with the bench power supply works. You set your voltage to what you want, and then when it's done, you'll reach that voltage after the current drops. So turn the current up. That's a fine adjustment. That's current at zero. And I'll grab voltmeter. Maybe I'll hold this again. Five, and the battery says it's at 14.23 and it's slowly creeping up we'll turn our current up a little more 14.25 14.26 and it's just going to slowly creep it up until it hits this voltage Two seven now, 